the heart. Feeling happens in our heart. Feeling doesn't happen in the mind. Feeling doesn't happen in the lower, well, a little bit, but not much in the lower centers. Feeling happens in our heart. Feeling and belief are connected. Feeling and belief. So in our hearts, we have hate, sadness, joy, compassion. Belief is what translates those possibilities into the atoms of our world. The quantum possibility exists as waves only. But this world is made of atoms. So I think you're going to like what you're going to see. Do you remember a long time ago when I was in school and maybe when you were in school, we were told that the atom looks like this. Looks like a little solar system. Long time ago, remember? And we were taught that the atom is made of things. A thing in the center and things that orbit, things that circulate. Okay? That's not what scientists believe today. Now the atom, they believe, looks like this. It looks like energy. The atom no longer looks like things. It looks like waves of energy rather than particles of things. Now this is very important. You're going to see why. I think you will like what you're going to see in just a moment. So the quantum atom is made of waves of energy rather than particles of things. And this is very important. This is very important. If you want to change an atom, you have to change the energy that the atom lives in. If you want to change the stuff, the physical stuff of our world, you must change the energy that that stuff exists within. We're going slowly because something big is about to happen here. Einstein said this very well. Einstein actually said the field that connects everything together is what he called the governing agency of the particle. Einstein said the field is what determines how the atom behaves. It's in the field. So the field that we're talking about, the field is made of electrical energy. It's made of magnetic energy, two energies. The field that holds everything together. Change the electric field that you will change the way the atom behaves, and there's actually a name for this. It is called the Stark effect. So if you change the electrical field, the Stark effect, you change the atom, or if you change the magnetic field, it's called the Zeeman effect, you change the atom. So all this is saying is that science knows today if you change the electrical field or you change the magnetic field, you change the atom. Okay, watch what happens. What organ in your body produces the strongest electrical field in your body? Your heart. And it's where you have the feeling of the strongest electrical and magnetic fields in the body. Some people said the brain. The brain does produce these fields, but look, the heart's electrical field is 100 times stronger than the brain. 100 times stronger than the brain. The heart's magnetic field is up to 5,000 times stronger than the brain's magnetic field. Our heart produces the fields that change our world and change our body. Can you see that so far?